Gothic horror is ubiquitous within the horror genre. Its cliches and tropes can be found in nearly every horror story or movie, supernatural or otherwise. Mysterious sounds. Doors opening on their own. Dark castles on a stormy night. The fleeing of a beautiful heroine from an amoral man. A woman ought to get a man first and then want him. Many of these situations are played out and stale, but upon the release of Horace Walpole's 1764 novel, The Castle of Otranto, these were fresh, terrifying ideas that spawned an entire genre that became very popular during the late 18th and early 19th centuries and still influences horror to this day. Originally titled The Castle of Otranto, a story translated by William Marshall Gent from the original Italian of Unafrio Moralto, canon of the Church of St. Nicholas at Otranto. The story follows Manfred, lord of the castle, and his family in a tale of medieval love, knights, horror, and curses that serves many twists along the way. The first edition of the book purported to be a translation of a manuscript printed in Naples in 1529 and recently rediscovered in the library of an ancient Catholic family. The term Gothic horror comes from the book's subtitle on its second edition, A Gothic Story, called such due to the pseudo-medieval buildings in which these stories take place. The story inspired such authors as Anne Radcliffe, Bram Stoker, and Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs>